everybody, it's Robin from Talks from the Heart. Well, I am going to show you how I've just reorganized all of my fountain pens. I'm going to put a picture in picture here and kind of show you how it used to be. Uh, and I got one of the, I got a second one of these drawer cabinets from Hobby Lobby. Um, that's little like foam there. But uh, I had to order it online. I'm gonna swivel. You guys, my my planner room is, is a hot mess, but I, I'm going slow. I have one that's like all planners, markers, things like that in here, and it's in the corner. We're not gonna do a tour of my room right now because it's a mess, but I wanted to show you guys how I'm gonna, um, how I've got my fountain pen stuff now. So um, again, you'll see the picture in picture where I had it in like a case or like a, planner tote actually right here this is the box of stuff that I got to bring downstairs and um and then I still have there in the corner all of my samples I'm not quite sure how I want to organize my samples at this point um I was gonna just get rid of them but I don't know I'm thinking all right, I have a lot because Sarah gave me some of her samples too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the drawers and then just go through them one by one and then close them. I think that's going to be easier. Um, so let me do that. Okay, first and foremost, I have a case here that I bought from Amazon and I, I will have it in my Amazon store. And then um, that is going to be my new work pen and uh, planner and notebook. And I'm going to say that... I purchased a lot of stuff, you guys, thinking it was going to be the cure-all, and I could have just bought this cabinet and been done because I don't much have really super expensive pens uh, that need to be, like, kept like that. So, I don't know. Uh, it wasn't expensive, and I guess I'm glad I have it, but it wasn't necessary because I have the big bottom drawer still empty, and I could have put my pens in there. And I also want to do a shout out to Planner Mumsy, Heather, and then my new friend Sarah from Peachy Ginger Pens. I think that's what she renamed her channel. And I'll link both channels below you guys. They've infected me with lots of stuff <laughs> and lots of new pens. All right. So Inca Pet is one of my new favorite little obsessions. It holds your little samplers. Love it. And then he sells accessories. And Calvin, I think he's like, I don't know. I'm sure Sarah could correct me. But he um, he has a 3D printer. This is a pen rest. Hang on. This is a pen rest. I, I'm getting a lot of shadows because I have lights um, that I think make it better. Hang on. And then this is a little blanket that goes on the pen rest. So I bought this little, like, it's like a spice rack thing from TJ Maxx. It was like $4.99. And um, what I'm going to start doing is keeping the inks, the current inks that I have in current pens on this shelf here. And then um, that way, if I just want to refill the pen, I can do that really easily. All right, so this is a rickshaw pen pillow. Again, thanks to Sarah. <laughs> I watched one of her videos. I'm like, I gotta have that. <laughs> All right. I'm trying to stay in focus. This Sarah found me on Macari and it is a longer burger basket and it holds all of the uh, coloring um, stuff. And it has like a little, um, hang on, let me see. You can see it has a little like um, liner in there and I'm sure it was meant for recipes but I just keep my ink samples what I'm which I'm slowly working on and that's another thing is I haven't sampled I've only sampled my bottles so far I have not sampled um, my uh, samples so I need to do that because that's that's really important to keep those on hand because then you'll know if you like the color or not all right, so that's what's on top. Then the top drawer is my Inca Pet accessories. This is just a little thing that my stylist had that I have like miscellaneous tools and things like that. I have a stamp. If 
I'm going to sample out and I've got some cartridges for Faber-Castell pen. This is an antique magnifying glass that I got at an auction. I keep that because if I need to um, look at what size nib it is and I can't see it, then that helps me a lot. This is um, some very expensive handmade beads that I had from when I had my bead shop and I put it on wire and I used it as a I used to use it as a pen rest. Hang on. I made my own pen rest. I thought that was cute. So I have that. A lot of this stuff was super buried in that tote. So I'm very happy to have it all like streamlined in these drawers. These little baskets are from the dollar store and this pink one's from Michael's a long time ago. Then here's my dip pens and things I use when I'm swatching or a, a blunt syringe when I'm filling a pen. So these I use frequently, so I have those in the top drawer. I love this thing. I will link it, Hobby Lobby. If your store actually has it, I say grab it because it was cheaper buying it in the store than it was after I paid tax and shipping. Um, this is for cleaning, and these are all miscellaneous sample cleaning things, and then three towels and a paper towel. Again, so nice that I've got the space. And then these are just pouches that are not currently in use that I like to use for, um, for my pens. These the green and the black one I got off Amazon and I believe it's in my Amazon store. I like them because they're really compact. And um, yeah, so hopefully I don't fill these drawers up. This is my scribe project that I've shown before. And then this is a glove that you can put on to so your oils don't go on the, um, the paper. And then sometimes with certain paper, the oils of your hand will go on the paper and affect how your ink goes down onto the paper. So this is my scribe project. If you're not familiar with this or are new to my channel, I am taking this book, which is one of my favorite books, and I'm scribing it using my fountain pens. And it's, I, I just love it. It's a labor of love, but it's a wonderful project to just light a candle and pour a refreshment and just some soft music and just relax enjoying my fountain pens. This drawer is, um, this is, I haven't started it yet, but this is my ink sample, um, ink sample, and then just some uh, fountain pen ink friendly paper that I have. This is a um, A6 notebook with Tomoe River paper grid, love it, from Oki Plans, and I have a coupon code below. It's, it's a beautiful notebook, and it's also really thick. So I love that. So I'm excited to start using that. And then here is fountain pen stickers. I also, with my Canon Ivy, have a couple, that they're not showing up. I have a couple of photos. I take photos of a new pen. This pen I bought from Sarah. And I take photos of a pen. I log the name, the nib, and how much I paid for it. And then some of these are vinyl stickers that um, I got from pen shops and things like that. And then this is the color ring in this format, hang on, where you can just have it and you know, oh, sorry, my feet, because some people don't like to look at feet. <laughs> um, this is um, also a way that I swatch my inks that's in a different format than this. All right, and then some, oh, and then some color, uh, some watercolor, not watercolor, some fountain pen friendly notebooks that I have. I, I'm just trying to keep everything contained, and since I don't really have a use for this drawer. Then we're getting into the inks. You guys, I don't know, sound down below if you guys are buying any ink vent stuff this year. I really, I've never purchased an ink vent like Diamine ink vent where you get like you know how many days before Christmas it's like an advent calendar but it has little bottles of inks actually so I'm probably outing myself here on social media but these are some of my inks I've taken the drawer and I've um, lined it with three layers of paper towel just in case something were to ever leak at least I'd have some kind of 
you know, cushion between that and the bottom of the drawer. So I have my uh, J. Ur J. Urban inks there. I love those little bottles. And these are all my Birmingham inks. I still have room in the back for more. Okay. Sorry if the camera's wobbly, but this kind of video is really hard to do. These are all my diamines. This is the size that comes in the ink vent, I think. And um, so, again, there's a lot of shimmer inks that happen in that ink vent, and I'm not a shimmer fan. So, um, I don't like glitter of any kind. Never have. So, <sighs> I don't know. And then this drawer is empty, and then this drawer is the bigger bottles that can't fit in the more shallow drawers. All right, and so I also have two of these. They're glass bottles or glass canisters, and they I use those for when I'm sampling, uh, when I need water at my desk. So I learned this from Sarah. She keeps two. Um, so she'll dip the brush or the dip pen in the first one and then the second one just to make sure it's super clean. And so I have two of those. So I love them. I got them at the dollar store. I love them. And they're two different patterns. Okay, so we're going to close that. It's very heavy. And that is my new fountain pen and ink storage cabinet. Now, one of the reasons why I um, did not have an issue spending the money on a second one of these was because it's actually a piece of furniture. This is what it looks like. So if I ever, ever don't need it for this exact purpose, then I can take this and implement it somewhere else in the house. So um, I, I really like it. And then I'm going to just move slowly. That's what the other one looks like. I really like it. I'm excited. So it's taken all of my fountain pen stuff and condensed it into one area except for in the closet. I could take that second, uh, the first bigger drawer, deeper drawer, and I could put my samples in there. Um, I'm sure that if you're kind of a rainbow person where you need stuff into a rainbow format, like my friend um, Heidi, <laughs> if she's watching, she's like, that's not in a rainbow format. I'm like, I know, I can't be bothered. I just can't. Um, I'm gonna know where everything is based on the brand name. So I hope that you enjoyed this video, you guys. So thank you so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and always enjoy today. Bye, everybody. I will pop this at the end of the video. This cabinet came in great condition and I'm gonna do a picture in picture where I show you the big box. The FedEx guy was super, super nice and um, brought it inside the house for me. And also um, it shipped really fast. I ordered it on Wednesday and had it on Saturday. All right, bye everybody.